So I got to do something. Um, also, uh, this cover. I mean, it doesn't cover a lot of the uh, the, the lead screw, so or the I guess the cross light screw. So I made another cover for this a while back. This is the cover I made. So it gives me something I can put an indicator on it. It's uh, nice and flat and everything. So I'm not, I'm not gonna put it all the way on for you. But uh, so I got that cover. Now I wanna put a DRO on. And a lot of people that I see with DROs, they put them on the back here. And if you put it on the back, you get your tailstock coming up, you're losing a little bit of room on the tailstock, plus it's all exposed and everything. So I was thinking, how can I, uh, how can I make this uh, better? So I thought, well, why don't I just put the DRO right inside there, and then it'll go out the back. So that's what I ended up doing. I have a small piece here that I made up just a little piece of little piece of aluminum uh, got a set screw in there and then a threaded hole so this goes in under here now this is a threaded hole and a threaded hole in there so I, uh, I took some threads off the, the screw so I can get this started in there to mount the little bracket so that's in there. Um, the next thing is there's a in in the back of uh, of the carriage. Uh, there's two uh, two uh, threaded holes in there. So what I did was I made up a block. Basically looks like that. It's countersunk, and that goes in here. So then the next thing is, uh, I have a piece that gets mounted onto, onto that. Next comes the actual DRO. So this is, it's an eye gauging uh, DRO that I got, uh, 12 inch. And it slides into that little groove positioned and then tighten down the set screw I didn't want to drill through the DRO scale but I don't think it would have mattered and then I've got these screws And now the DRO will work. So I need a place to mount the actual DRO. So I took a piece of hex stock, uh, threaded it, put a threaded hole on there, maneuver that around, tighten her down a little bit. And now that positions to hold this plate which now goes on there. Let me uh, move this back a bit. So, and then the DRO gets positioned on there with the wires, of course, coming around the back. And I gotta do something to hang the wires up on, on behind there. Next thing is the cover goes back on. So, there you have it, there's the DRO. We'll zero set the DRO. Now I'm going to come in 50. There's 50, and the DRO reads 50. Now let's go to 60. DRO reads 60. Go to 70. We got 70. Go to 80. And we're at 81. Now I'm looking through a magnifying glass at the uh, at the dial, and the dial is reading 80. Go to 90, and we went back to 90. Back to zero again. Now we're at 99 and a half. Go 
go to 10 and we're at 109 so we're off by one go to 20 and we're at uh, 118 so we're off by two go to 30 we're off by one and a half go to 40 we're off by one and a half 50 we're off by one 60 we're back on again so there's wear in the uh, in the lead screw and that's been messing me up for a while and I always thought well it's just me uh, but it seems that it's not the DRO is actually pretty pretty simple uh, the mounting holes were there which was good put together the pieces there you have it uh, an x-axis DRO for uh, for the Atlas lathe